Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Yakuza... I was going to say Kiwami again. Yakuza 3 Remastered Let's Play on this beautiful Yakuza Friday. Still going through, doing some sub-stories, knocking those out, trying to get a little stronger, get some more abilities before we continue our way on with the story. That and, you know... I had an entire week of story last week, and now an entire week of sub-stories. Gotta balance it out. So, if you are excited for more sub-story madness, let me know with a comment. Maybe even leave me a like over there. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Um, still over where we laugh, last left off, which is perfect, because there is apparently a sub-story over here. There we go. Oh. Hey, give me all the money in the register. Be quick about it. Your, your life's more uh, worth more than your job, right? A robbery? Okay, I'll get you the money right away, sir. Just don't hurt me. Stop fucking around and clean out the register. Cut the crap. What do you think you're doing? Who the hell are you, asshole? You want to die today? I should be asking you that. You're gonna take it outside? Give it up. If you take this any further, you'll go to prison. I don't have a choice, man. Don't be a hero. I don't want to have to kill you. Convenience store robber. Come on. Fuck. Oh, come on. There we go. Pop. Throw. Throw. Come on. Come on. There we go. Pop. Yeah. I had hurt a lot. Yeah. What the hell are you? It's over. Turn yourself in now, and you'll get a light sentence. No way. I can't get caught. I have to do this for her. I have. I have to. For her. Out of my way. I gotta chase him down now. I know. Whatever. What happened to that criminal? Sorry. He got away. Is your cashier okay? Just fine. So got all of our money and no one was injured. Wait. We have to chase down the criminal. And I've got to call the police. Hate to be so bold, but could you go after that robber? We'd really appreciate it. That robber had something else going on. What was he talking about? Alright, leave him to me. Thank you, sir. I'll pay you for your service. So please, go after him. I'll go after the robber you called the cops. Yes, sir. I'll call them right now. That guy's quick on his feet. There's no chance of him. I need to ask around for witnesses. Okay, I thought it was going to be like, oh, just start chasing him to now. You. Tell me. You say you got flying out of the convenience store just a minute ago? People are going in and out of there all the time. What was he wearing? Pretty sure he was dressed in... A black jacket. He had a black jacket on. Okay, I saw a guy in a black jacket running towards the children's park. Children's Park, got it. That. No, I don't think so. Hey. You got nowhere else to run. How the hell did you find me? I'm not going to the cops. Oh, well, that was easy. Pop, 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 pop. Come on. Nope. Come on. Come on. Oh, nope, nope. Carry, carry. Come on. 
There we go. I was gonna grab that to, but that works. It's gonna grab. Oh, the oh, that was a pair of pliers that I could have used. Damn it! I'm not gonna let you mess this up. Yoshino, please stop doing all this. Akemi, what are you doing here? Police officer was asking me all these questions about a convenience store robbery and some investigation. I didn't want to believe it. Well, I did it. But this is the only way I can make you happy. Because my ex left me in debt? That's not anything for you to worry about, Yoshino. Oh. Yeah, Yo Yoshio. There we go. But I can't mean you're pregnant. What are we going to do about the baby? What kind of father would I be if I let our child start our life in debt? Keep working hard. We can make it through somehow. What am I going to do if you're arrested? What do I tell him when he asks about you? I just... I don't know. But that's what this is all about. Turn yourself in. It's your first offense, right? And no money was stolen. So it's a petty crime you won't be getting locked up for. But... And think about your kid. It's a lot harder to have a dad in jail than parents in debt, right? That's right. And what if uh, we're not there when your child, you're not there when your, your, our child is born, Yoshi, uh, Yoshio? I couldn't just deal with that. Akemi, I'll go with you to the police. All right. You know, I actually feel kind of grateful to you, guy. You helped us sort out this mess, so I'm going to turn myself into the cops now. You are right. I want to clean myself up before I hold my kid. Well, it's time for us to pay a visit to the police now. Thanks for all your help. And that's what happened. I see. That robber knew he was making a mistake all along. And robbing a convenience store wouldn't get him nearly enough to pay off that heavy debt anyways. You know, I got a little one of my own and I can kind of empathize with how he panicked, how panicked that guy must have been. I'll go get my testimony to the police now and I'll do what I can to get him a lighter sentence. Oh, yeah. Here's that pain measure, I promise you. It's not much, but I'd like you to have it. Still a nice little penny. Or a nice little yen, I should say. Well, I'd better get going. Cool. Um, yeah, I should probably heal up. I should probably stop by the drugstore. That would be smart. So I'm gonna run to the drugstore real quick. And we'll take care of whatever is by Bantam when we're back. Alrighty, so let's see what's going on. Is it actually in Montem? Looks like it. I didn't see anyone outside. Wait, I see. Yes, I did. Nope. Hope he's not hiding something from me, but even if he is, what can I possibly do? Bartender, I'll have a drink, if you please. Very well, sir. Here you are, sir. Please enjoy. Um, you want to happen to be Kiryu-san, by chance? That's me. Who's asking? Sorry to come up and talk to you all of a sudden, but... I'm Ryoko uh, Sato. I heard about you from my husband, Sato. Your husband? Yes. In the past, he used to work for a particular family. I'm sure you know of what kind. Well... It's always going on about this amazing guy from Kamurocho. He showed me your picture in a magazine once, and that's how I recognized you. I see. So, what do you want from me? My husband, he's... I think he's planning to murder someone. Please, you have to help him somehow. Slow down a minute. What makes you think he wants to do that? Well, back when he married me, he was able to wash his hands of the business and work a normal job. He started working part-time at a restaurant, and we've been able to make ends meet with both of us bringing home a check. But... Late one night, I saw him, alone, with a knife, sharpening in it in the shadows. He must have thought no one was watching. Not only that, but he's been making these secretive phone calls to someone I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it's one of his old associates, and that's who gave him the order. Come to think of it, he's been doing a lot of strange things lately. We've been eating out a lot more, he buys more me clothes, he keeps taking me on these trips, but we don't have that kind of money. None of it's added up. And then, it dawned on me. My husband must be working in another job behind my back. That's the only explanation. 
He promised me on our wedding day that he'd never make me cry again. But now he goes and does this. Maybe he's been pulled into something against his will. There's no way for me to know that, but that's really true. I'd do anything to get him out of it. Oh. How could he forget our wedding vows? I thought he was a changed man. I'm begging you, Kiryu-san. Find out if my husband is up to something vile, and if he is, put a stop to it. You're the only one who can. Well, yeah, we're, that's, that's what we're here for, Kiryu. Alright, I suppose I could be of some help. Uh, what is it that you want me to do? Oh, thank you. So, my husband should be hitting the Mahjong parlor about this time. Should be able to spot him immediately, since he's usually covered in head to toe in red sportswear. Man, man in red sportswear. Okay. All I want you to do is find out where my husband keeps going when he's done gambling. When you figure it out, would you please give me a call? So all you want to know is where he's been shuffling off to. Okay, I think I can do that. Thank you, truly. I don't know who else I can turn to at this point. Grab that. And we're off to the Mojong Parlor. Hopefully this is not yet another just running around the entire damn city. So the parlor should be on the same street as Serena. Because it moved last game. That's where it should be out at this game. Because I doubt it would move again so quickly. No, I... No, no, ah. Oh. I did not want to fight you. I just want to get through the, the these sub stories, man. I'll see you at the parlor. Already we're back. Um Yeah, no, the 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 place that was on the same street, yeah, they, they moved it. It's now back to uh where it was when we were playing Kiwami One. Come on. There we go. Somebody's coming down. Maybe it's the husband of that lady I spoke with at Bontem. I can't believe I freaking lost again. I just have I just don't have any luck before work. It's covered in red sportswear, alright. That's gotta be the guy I'm looking for. Time to see what he's up to. Ignore the guy I just fought. Yeah. Just gotta follow him quietly. What is with that walk? Turning left, you turning right. Turning right. Okay. Where are you going now? It's like, okay, you ran down the street, now you're just walking. What could it be? What could he be up to in there? Her wife would like to know. It's Gary, you. Uh huh. Right near Smileburger. That's right. You'll recognize it when you get here. Well, now what? Yeah. Hey, asshole. I know you've been following me. Just tell me what you want already. Hey, hold on. You got it all wrong. Yeah, that's what they all say. Well, too bad for you. Because there's no way in hell you're dragging me back to that life. I'll fight you tooth and nail if I have to. So this is a whole misunderstanding. Man in red sportswear. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Jeez. Sarka Storm. Cool. Damn it all. Should never set fun Kamurocho to begin with. I knew I'd get dragged back in. 
Relax, I'm not here to drag you into anything. Huh? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. It must be Kiryu-san. Wow, I'm standing face to face with a legend. I used to be in the business too, you know. And I heard all kinds of crazy stories about you, man. You were like a god. But then you retired right after you made fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. That's actually what inspired me to leave the business myself. Well, that's all fine and good. But I need to know what you've been up to. Your wife has been worrying about you. She has? Hmm. Well, I guess there is one thing I haven't managed to tell her yet. Think you can keep it a secret? You see, I was asked to be a chef at a restaurant I worked at part-time, so I started going to cook cooking school. The boss says I can uh, get on full-time if I get me a cook's license. To me, that's a golden opportunity. I've been wanting to have uh, some kids soon, so I figured having a proper salary would be the best way to prepare. So you've been sneaking off the cooking school? Is that it? Well... It ain't my intention to be sneaky. I mean, sure, the school my boss recommended is in a rundown building with no sign up from, but the teacher there is world crawl ass. The ones with the late knife sh uh, knife sharpening. Yeah. Oh, you mean this thing? Huh. I've been using this to gut tuna. Guess it kind of does look like something you could use to shank another guy. Get the blood flowing. <laughs> now I see how this is all coming together. Huh? What's coming together? And why is Ryoko all suspicious of me all of a sudden? I wonder about that lady sometimes. Well, she said you've been a lot more well off with money in the money department than you should be. <laughs> oh, that. Well, I just happened to uh, want a nice wad of cash at the mahjong tables, so I stashed some away for special occasions. And my wife's pretty sharp. <laughs> there you are. What are you doing here? I won't worry if I were you. Your husband's given me an explanation for everything, and it all checks out. Huh? What do you mean? You just gotta trust me, babe. I promised you I wasn't going to make you cry. That was one of my wedding vows. Then you remembered. You remembered your promise. Of course I remembered, babe. You think I'd forget something like that? Sorry for putting you through this drama, Kiryu-san. Hope you'll take this for your troubles. Uh, easily. Thank you for your help. I feel like I can trust my husband much more now. Well, we'd better get going. Cool. Almost to another level. And there's another one over here. Another one. Just keep popping up slowly, one by one now. It's not like they're covering the map anymore. What's with the... Hey, you, excuse me. Huh? You talking to me? Sorry to bother you, but are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah, that's me. And you are? I knew it. I'm a student at the Kamaki Do- Oh! Kamaki Dojo. Oh, you mean old man Kamaki? I haven't seen him forever. Started his own dojo, huh? Sounds like he's doing pretty well. Yes, sir. He is. Actually, I have a letter uh, for you from him. He told me to give it to you if I ever spied you in the city. Letter from Kamaki. I wonder what he wants. How are you doing, my prize pupil? When I heard you returned to Kamarocho, I knew it must. I must pen and paper, or I must pen a letter to you at once. I'm currently running a dojo at the Dragon Palace. I believe you're quite familiar with the location. I understand that's uh, th uh, that while I was away on a short trip, you fought off some hooligans that were making trouble at the Dragon Palace. I wanted to extend my thanks to you for that. From the rumors I've heard, your life is of peace and tranquility has not dulled your fighting edge. Knowing you, however, I suspect that way of life uh, may not last much longer. If you ever feel the need, need to train again, please stop by my dojo at the Dragon Palace. I'd be happy to help you get back into shape. However. There's one matter that may require your help. I'll tell you more when we meet in person. So Taro Kamaki, Kamaki Dojo. Heh. I swear that old man never changes. It's been a while since I last saw one another. Maybe I should go and pay old man Kamaki a visit. Hey, is the old man back at the dojo now? Yes, Master Kamaki has returned. Please take the elevator to the dojo floor. I'll go on ahead and let him know that you're here. Uh, yeah, we're going to go see Kamaki. We're 20 episodes in, and we, oh, that wasn't, huh, after we do this, we're going to go visit Kamaki, just can't afford to pay for those costly renovations, say there, you ever heard a construction company called Ashimoto Re uh, Renovation in these parts, Ashimoto Renovations, never heard of them, hmm, their address should be right around here, but I just can't figure it out. Okay. 
Hashimoto renovations. Oh yeah, water purifiers. Oh. Maybe if I go up to New Serena. There we go. Oh, perfect timing, Kyrgyzstan. I need to go pick up some supplies. Think you could look that through the place while I'm gone? I guess I could. Sure, I'll do it. I don't know much about bartending, though. No problem. There's nobody in here right now anyways, and with a big guy like you behind the counter, I don't have to worry about security. Got it. Won't be long. It don't be long. Wonderful. I'll be back soon. Still no customers. Wait, somebody's coming. You the owner here? We're from Hashimoto Renovations. We're based in the city, but we mainly renovate old buildings from all over Kamurocho. Hashimoto Renovations? I've never heard that name before. This building is pretty darn old. I bet it was built before the earthquake proof construction was implemented. But what I'm really worried about is it's termites, because those little buggers will eat any away at the foundation. Mind if we take a look? Won't take long. Termites? I'm pretty sure this building is made of concrete. No, this place is made of concrete. Not exactly a delicacy for termites. Oh yeah? Heh. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Guess we got our buildings mixed up. What about your plumbing? Got any leaks? Bad pipes? I think we better check the plumbing to be on the safe side. I think the plumbing was just fixed. Just refuse. No thanks. We just had the plumbing fixed, so I'm sure it's fine. Oh yeah? Well, if you say so. But before we go, what's your smoke alarm situation? They're required by law, you know. Uh, they were just talking about that on TV. You gotta pay a hefty fine if you don't got no smoke alarms. A lot of people have played paired dealing when fires break out without a warning. Smoke alarms. Pretty sure this place had them put in a long time ago. No need. I'm pretty sure this place had smoke alarms put in a while back. Oh yeah? Well, I hope you're right. That's enough. This place is fine, so get out. What the hell is your problem? You were nice enough to come down here and help. And now you try to chase us out? Maybe we ought to teach you some manners, Pops. I'm dying to learn some. Let's take take it outside. A bunch of scam artists. You're gonna regret this in more ways than one, pal. I doubt that. Hashimoto Reform. Got their own little splash card intro. God damn it, Adachi. Pop. Crap. Nope. Slap. Pop. That old computer. Or old monitor. Ugh. A fucking color bird. Boom. Stop cheating people out of their money. <sighs> okay, time to find my next customer. Oh wait, she's here already. I'm back. Did you get any customers? No. No. Just talking to a restaurant owner nearby. He's telling me there is a lot of renovation scams going around lately. People asking how termites, smoke alarms, and such. <laughs> Those men on their way, on their way out, had coveralls on, so I thought they might be a couple of phony renovators. Something happened while I was gone. No. Nothing important. Really? Well, here's something for your trouble. You did me a big favor after all. Huh? I can't make you watch the place for free. I pretty much just sit around the whole time. And I can't take money from you after all you've done for me. I'm a proud Kamarocho woman. I refuse to make you work without paying. Just take it and make me happy. Alright, if you insist. Sweet. Broke a mill. I think that's just enough for one of the other level th or 35. Those renovators were a couple of scam artists after all. Oh hey there, do you ever find that construction company you were looking for? 
I sure did. In fact, they swindled me out of my money with some phony renovations. I heard the president was just arrested by the police. Arrested? Apparently some of their workers were in the hospital with some injuries. And they were identified by law enforcement there. I see. Will you be getting your money back then? Well, the police said they'll get my money back from me. So I can rest well in my old age. I'd sure like to shake the person's hand who smashed up those blasted phony renovation workers and sent them to the hospital. Heh <laughs> heh. Hi. That was me. Um... I want increased throw power. Because I love throwing people. Okay. Uh, we gotta go visit... Old Man Kamaki. Yes, we do. So, uh, since that's gonna be a bit of a walk... Probably gonna be a couple fights anyways. Um, I'll just see you at the Dragon Palace. Okay. Where to? The dojo. There he is. Well, if it isn't my favorite pupil, it has been far too long since your last meeting. I'm pleased that you have come to see me. It's good to see you too. Doing well, I assume? Of course, I have more pupils than I know what to do with, ever since I opened this dojo. It's been quite a while since you left Kamarojo, Kiryu. Have you retained the skills I have taught you, or have they grown rusty in the time that's passed? Well, I haven't been fighting for my life as much ever since I moved to Okinawa. Suppose I haven't had uh, many chances to use your moves in combat. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I remember them all anymore. Still, we need to use your techniques to protect the ones I love. Would you mind teaching me th them again? Hmm. Very well. Let us revisit your training once more. First, we must review uh, what you've already learned. I can't teach you new te te techniques if you can't remember the simplest basics. Let's see what you still remember. Sounds good. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Three of my four or more pupils working in Kamarojo. Find them and challenge them to a fight. Wait, what? I thought you were going to teach me again, uh, some of your pupils. Everything must be done in the proper order. Defeating the fighters who are skilled in my techniques should help you remember the moves you have forgotten. These pupils are mine, are some of the finest fighters I've ever taught. You won't have an easy time of it, believe me. I believe you. I'm more than a little rusty. Alright, where can I find these pupils of yours? I will tell you where you can find them. Listen carefully now. Works at a sushi restaurant. He quit his training to pursue his dream of being a sushi chef. Okay, some kind of... Also worked somewhere at a restaurant. I don't remember the name, but it had something to do with smiling. Okay, Smile Burger. Sushi Gin. Third one works out at Barker and on Shifoko Street. Okay. Nope. I'm good. Okay. Uh, street level. So, sh Sushi Gin is the first. Well, it do it in the order that he listed. Um, there's a taxi. Wish, uh, there used to be a taxi up to the north. Okay, so we'll come down this way. This way. Head to the right and head towards that taxi. And head to Sushi Jin. That's like the only sushi restaurant I can think of. Then we have Smile Burger, which is the easiest one. And then the last one, Shinfuku Street, which is... Showa, 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 Nkaichi, Tahe Theater, Tahe, Tahe, Pink Street. Oh. Maybe. Hold on. Parker at a club in Fuku. Because we're right on the street of... And that looks like someone I can interact with. Hey you, why don't you take a load off at our hostess club? Our girls are cute, as cute as they come. Not right now. I got business with you actually. Are you one of Kamaki students? What? By any chance, are you Kazuma Kiryu? Yeah, that's me. 
So you're the famous Kiryu. Yeah. Master Kamaki told me about you. He wants you to fight his former pupil so you, you can remember the moves he taught you in the past, right? Kiryu Zon. If a man wants to be popular with women in Kamurocho, what is the one thing he needs? Huh? You asking for my advice or something? You see, Kiryu Zon, I've seen a lot of people in my time here. I have determined that strength isn't the only thing you need to be drowning in women. You have to be swimming in cash. That's what's really important. I realized I'd have the better chance with women if I worked hard and saved up my money for a year instead of wasting my time training with Kamaki. That's why I'm working here now. Hey, if I beat you, will you give me a little extra cash? <laughs> just kidding. Having money could definitely make life easier, but you can't buy you everything. Did you really quit training with Kamaki to make a little bit more money? I mean, I like training and getting stronger too, but I know it takes more than sheer strength to impress women. Besides, I'm already pretty strong. Time for me to work on something else. Hmm. Strength isn't everything, huh? Well, why don't you show me just how strong you really are? Let's do this. Okay. Pop. Really should not have given up on your train, my dude. Oh. Come on. Hit you with the good old... You know what? Just throw you. I was waiting for you to punch me so I can do the Kamaki sidestep, but uh, you weren't swinging, so just grab you and throw you. No, I can't believe I lost. I can be this strong. I underestimated you. You did pretty well, but you're clearly out of practice. You're right. I'm sorry for not taking this more seriously. I'm never going to treat and get a girl like this. I need to go back to my training. Huh? There's nothing wrong with wanting to be strong or have money, but you need it more than that if you want a, a woman. You've got to be a real man. And you're never going to find a woman if you keep wearing that frown wherever you go. You're right. Thanks for the tips. I shouldn't be wasting my time working here. I've got to work on myself instead. Finding him dredged up memories of one of old Kamaki's techniques I used to go. The Kamaki parry. Yes. Well, that was worth grabbing that first. You know what, in that case? Uh, we'll just head to Smile Burger. But the Kamaki... Oh, okay, it's... Uh, I'm glad I realized what street I was on before making all my, my way all the way back down there, because good old Kamaki Perry just... Oh. Can't wait to have Tiger Drop again. Excuse me, pardon me. That's what I'm really aiming for, is the getting back the Tiger Drop. As it is just so good. Oh, so good. Okay, so Smile Burger should be right there. Yep. Let's see. Excuse me. Pardon me. There we go. And in we go. Are you all wearing the same shit? Okay. Okay, are you son? Hey, it's me. Huh? It's me, Kata. You remember? Oh! You told me about Tokyo and downtown Ryuku, remember? Oh, hey, it's you. You really did move to Tokyo, huh? I'm doing great. The rent's really expensive, I just... just like you said. And, I, and the train transfers are pretty complicated, but I'm having the time of my life here in Tokyo. And I'm glad I gave it a shot. Yeah, that's good to hear. Oh, right. Have this, fresh off the griddle. Smile fries. Hold on, you should be giving me this? Oh, it's fine. Just between you and me, I take all the leftovers home with me. See you next time. You. Uh, eat here, because I need to refill my health. That should be fine. Order, yes. Okay. Build up, perfect. I keep looking over here because my camera is literally right in the center of my screen, so it covers that chunk of the health bar. Um, no. 
This is Smile Burger. Is it someone out here in the street? This is where one of Kamaki's students was. Maybe if I go in and out. There we go. How many times have I told you? Can't take any of the food home with you. You're just gonna throw it away. Why waste it? That might be true, but you still need to pay for it. It's our merchandise after all. Not to be such a cheap stick. You're still just gonna throw it out. Look, if you still don't get it, then don't bother coming back tomorrow. What? Not again? This is the fourth shop. I guess we're doing this now. Look here, you son. Don't tell me you saw that. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed it up again. Tokyo is a pretty tough place to live. I'd say Tokyo's got its own set of rules. Gotta start job searching again. If I don't work, I won't be able to pay that Tokyo rent. See you later then. I'm gonna see if I can find a job around here. I'll text you if something works out. Okay. If I go in again. Welcome. What can I do for you today? Actually, I'm not a customer. Are you one of old man Kamaki's pupils? Huh? Wait, are you Kazuma Kiryu? The master told me about you. You need to fight me to remember what you learned before. Is that right? I may be working in a fast food restaurant now. But there was a time where I thought I could be the very best. So you're the dragon of Dojima. Even the master recognizes your legendary skill. I'll have to get the chance to see if my Kamaki techniques can stand up to you. Let's take it outside. Boss, I'm taking my break now. Hey, hold on. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, he needs a he needs about five minutes to go get punched in the face. Here should work. I'm not gonna hold back. Let's do this. I'm surprised you don't want to go more around the corner. Just you know, fighting in front of the place you work. In the uniform of where you're working. Come on. Yeah. Oh, come on, Key Perry. That's going to make life so much easier. I can't believe it. The master was right about you. You won fair and square. Thought I'd study the Kamaki style longer than any, almost anyone. I know I've still got a lot to learn. Looks like you've forgotten what it's like to be in a real fight. Yeah. That was good workout though, thanks for that. Finding you has really got my blood pumping. Makes me want to come out of retirement. Are you sure you could go back right in the training if you- I'm sure you could go right back in the training if you wanted to. Thank you for everything. Oops. Better get back inside. My boss is going to be pissed, but feel free to come back to visit as a customer next time. I will. Good luck. Fighting him dredge up memories of... Okay. Yes! Oh, the next person is screwed. Oh, is that? Hey, I found a job. I'm the queen of part-time work. Uh, I started a new job at uh, Gelatario in Camarucho. I'm really excited about it because I love ice cream. Come see me sometime. Oh, at least we don't have to go through, like, the arena again to get back the tiger drop. Do you know what? You. Come on. <laughs> oh, tiger drop. Good to have you back, buddy. Tarnier Plus. You know what? I'll take it. Uh, sushi Jin. This. It's still open, right? Yes. Welcome. I got some great Magaro in today. You should definitely try some. I didn't come here to eat today. I heard you were one of old man Kamoki's people was here. Your cousin Kiryu. The master told me about you. I've been waiting for you to show up. Why don't we step outside? Okay. I'll be there in a minute. Here should be good enough. Right then, let's get started. 
How'd you quit Komaki Jojo? I came to train in Tokyo in a Tokyo sushi restaurant to help my father get out of debt. But you know how things can be in a city like this. You have to do what you can to survive. In the end, my hands were almost, uh, were often used to hurt people, not make delicious sushi. I heard about the Komaki style at the gambling hall. The moment I did, I forgot all about, forgot all my training as a sushi chef. Then I met the owner of the place I'm working at now. I remembered how much, how I used to feel about everything, about sushi. I wanted to make the best sushi in the world to help my father keep his restaurant afloat. That's why I uh, quit Kamak Master Kamaki's dojo. I see. Still, I like that dojo. I knew I could get stronger there. I've always wanted to be strong. Alright then, carry on. Let's see how my Kamaki training fares against a real opponent. Are you ready? No, well, I'm ready. Are you ready? I got Tiger Drop, buddy. Come on. Come on. Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on. Punch me. Nope. Come on. Come on. Punch me. Yeah. You know what? Just pop. Oh, that wasn't enough to. Again. Nope. Nope. Again. Come on. There we go. You win. You're as strong as I thought you were. You're quite the impressive fighter yourself. <laughs> Hearing that from you makes the sting of the feet a little less painful. Guess my training didn't go to waste after all. You don't need your fists anymore. Your sushi should be enough to protect your family and your restaurant. You'll be all right. Yeah, thanks. You got a weird word for words, you know. I feel a little better now, thanks to you. I guess I better get back to work. Uh, no, if you'll excuse me. Fighting him dress up some memories of. Okay, what do we get? Knockback. Guard as the enemy attacks, immediately press Y to parry the attack. Oh. Okay, well, let's, um... Let's head on up there. To... Oh, it's in the middle, it doesn't matter. We'll go visit Kamaki, see what that is to finish that off, and we'll call it an episode. I do have to say, getting... The tire drop for uh, Yakuza Friday episode feels good. Feels very good. Anyways, um, I'm gonna punch these guys in the face real quick. I'll see you in a second. <laughs> Alrighty, back in the dojo with Komaki. Oh ho, Vincent, my dearest disciple. I urge you to feed it all three of my former pupils. I know you could do it. Seems like your skills aren't as rusty as I once thought. I suppose. Uh, they all put up a pretty good fight, though. It definitely helped me remember all the techniques you taught me in the past. Excellent. Once you learn a technique, it stays with you. Even when you think you've completely forgotten it. Yeah, looks like I've gotten it all back now. Thanks for the help, old man. Now that I got the old techniques back, can I start learning some new ones? Not so fast. The people you defeated are skilled fighters indeed, but they are former peoples, not current ones. I believe you still have more to remember, yes? Yeah, you might be right. Those former peoples of yours were tough, but I could spar against, if I could spar against someone tougher, I might be able to remember even more old techniques. Very well, then. Uh, you should try... Would you like to try facing an active Kamaki master? I mean you? No, no. You'll be facing my top pupil. I can vouch for his strength. You, uh, you may not be able to beat him. Really? Well, it's not like I'm completely out of practice. Let's see how tough this guy is. Alright, let's do this. I guess I'm the final boss for you, huh, Kiryu-san? I do train for hours every single day. I think you'll find me a difficult opponent to beat. We'll see about that. You ready? Now, begin! Komaki's training.
Come on. Let's see what you got. Hit me. Nope. Come on. Come on. Let me tiger drop you. Come on. Pop. Stop. Okay. I don't know why Tiger Drop did not do a whole lot of damage that time. You win. You did well. If I hadn't been paying attention, you might have laid me out on the floor. Here I was thinking I was the best of Kamaki, Master Kamaki students. I'll train hard, so next time we face each other, I'll come out on top. I'll be happy to fight you again. Give you another chance to test your, uh, your skills. Daruma Tumblr, press all quick sound. Oh. Cool. Well done. I do believe your Kamaki techniques have once again been honed to perfection. Practicing all these te techniques makes me want to train with you again. Maybe you can teach me some new moves next time, old man. Oh, uh -huh. well. Feel free to come back whenever you feel like. I very much enjoy watching you grow stronger, my dear pupil. Or disciple. I can't remember that. Well, I'm glad I could at least provide you with some entertainment. If it keeps you from going senile, it'll be worth the pain. Hey, now. I'm still young, you know. Just share your master some respect. Heh. <laughs> Sorry to ruffle your feathers, old man. See you later. Okay. So we're just going to... Actually, I just need... Just give me a little bit of a boost. Alrighty. So I think with that... I think we can call it for today's episode. Oh yeah, the, that's just over an hour of raw at of uh, raw footage. So we'll see how much that gets knocked down to. Anyways, if you enjoyed come up, be, having Kamaki back in our live skin, let me know with a comment and maybe even a like while you're over there. And also, if you haven't already, consider subscribing so that way you are hitting that subscribe button and notification bell which is subscribing but i wanted to expound so that way you know when more yakuza is heading your way that's all i got for you today until next time